the requirement for a dedicated 20 amp circuit for bathrooms in houses originated in the National Electrical Code, or NEC, in the United States in the 1970s. There are several reasons for this rule. Firstly, increased electrical demand. Bathrooms typically have a high concentration of electrical appliances and fixtures, including hair dryers, curling irons, lighting, and exhaust fans. A dedicated circuit ensures sufficient power to safely operate these devices without overloading the circuit. Secondly, safety. A dedicated circuit reduces the risk of electrical fires by preventing overloads and short circuits that can occur when multiple appliances are plugged into the same circuit. Thirdly, Grand Fault Circuit Interrupter, or GFCI protection. Bathrooms are considered hazardous locations due to the presence of water and electrical devices. A dedicated circuit allows for the installation of a ground fault circuit interrupter, which detects and interrupts the flow of electricity in the event of ground fault, reducing the risk of electrical shock. The Canadian Electrical Code, or SEC, does not have a specific requirement for a dedicated 20 amp circuit for bathrooms. However, it does require ground fault circuit interrupter protection for all electrical outlets in bathrooms. Looping ground fault circuit interrupters is not permitted under the NEC or CEC. Each bathroom receptacle must be protected by its own ground fault circuit interrupter. This ensures that all receptacles in the bathroom are protected against ground faults, even if one ground fault circuit interrupter trips. While the absence of a dedicated circuit requirement in the CEC may allow for more cost-effective wiring, it is important to prioritise safety. Overloading electrical circuits can pose a fire hazard and put occupants at risk. It is recommended to always follow the electrical code and consider installing a dedicated circuit for bathrooms, especially if there is a high concentration of electrical appliances. In the NEC, the specific requirements for bathroom circuits are detailed in Article 210.11. C. 3. This section mandates that at least one 20 amps branch circuit shall supply the bathroom receptacle outlet. This circuit is dedicated, meaning it should not serve any other outlets outside of the bathroom. This requirement is further reinforced by section 210.11. C3 exception, which allows the 20 amp circuit to supply a single bathroom only. The history of this requirement is rooted in the increasing use of high wattage appliances in bathrooms. In the past, bathrooms were primarily used for basic grooming tasks and the electrical load was relatively low. However, with the introduction of hair dryers, curling irons and other personal care appliances, the demand for electricity in bathrooms has increased significantly. The NEC recognised the potential for overloaded circuits and the associated risk of fire and electrical shock, leading to the establishment of the dedicated circuit rule. The NEC also provides guidance on the type of wiring and overcurrent protection required for bathroom circuits. Typically, a 12 American wire gauge, or AUG, copper conductor is used for a 20 amp circuit, and a 20 amp circuit breaker or fuse is installed in the electrical panel to protect the circuit from overloads and short circuits. Ground fault circuit interrupter protection is another critical safety feature for bathroom circuits. Section 210.8 of the NEC requires ground fault circuit interrupter protection for all receptacles in bathrooms. A ground fault circuit interrupter is a device that monitors the flow of electricity in a circuit and detects any leakage current to ground. If a ground fault is detected, the ground fault circuit interrupter quickly interrupts the flow of electricity preventing electrical shock. The installation of a dedicated 20 amp circuit and ground fault circuit interrupter protection in bathrooms significantly reduces the risk of electrical hazards. By providing sufficient power and protecting against ground fault, these safety measures help to ensure the safety of occupants. It is important to note that electrical codes are constantly evolving to keep pace with technological advancements and changing safety standards. The NEC is updated every three years and it is essential for electricians and homeowners to stay informed of the latest requirements. Consulting with a qualified electrician is always recommended when performing any electrical work to ensure compliance with the NEC and to ensure the safety of the electrical system.
In addition to the NEC requirements, some local jurisdictions may have additional regulations regarding bathroom circuits. It is important to check with the local building department to determine if there are any specific requirements in your area. The Canadian Electrical Code, while not mandating a dedicated 20-amp circuit, emphasizes ground fault circuit interrupter protection for bathroom receptacles. This reflects a similar concern for electrical safety in wet environments. The CEC approach acknowledges that while a dedicated circuit can provide additional capacity, ground fault circuit interrupter protection is a fundamental safeguard against electrical shock. The practice of looping ground fault circuit interrupters, where one ground fault circuit interrupter protects multiple receptacles in different bathrooms, is generally not permitted by either the NEC or the CEC. This is because if one receptacle experiences a ground fault, the ground fault circuit interrupter will trip interrupting power to all receptacles on the circuit. This can be inconvenient and potentially hazardous, especially if it occurs while someone is using an electrical appliance in another bathroom. Furthermore, looping ground fault circuit interrupters can make it difficult to troubleshoot electrical problems. If a ground fault occurs, it may be difficult to determine which receptacle is causing the problem. For these reasons, it is best practice to install a separate ground fault circuit interrupter for each bathroom receptacle. When planning a bathroom renovation or new construction project, it is essential to carefully consider the electrical needs of the space. In addition to the requirements for dedicated circuits and ground fault circuit interrupter protection, there are other electrical considerations to keep in mind. For example, it is important to ensure that the wiring is properly sized to handle the electrical load. Overloaded circuits can overheat and cause fires. It is also important to use appropriate electrical boxes and fittings. Electrical boxes should be properly sized to accommodate the wiring and devices. Fittings should be used to protect the wiring from damage. Furthermore, lighting is an important consideration in bathrooms. Adequate lighting is essential for grooming tasks and for creating a safe and comfortable environment. Consider installing a combination of general lighting, task lighting, and accent lighting. General lighting provides overall illumination for the room. Task lighting is used to illuminate specific areas such as the vanity or shower. Accent lighting is used to highlight architectural features or artwork. Finally, ventilation is an important consideration in bathrooms. Moisture can damage building materials and promote the growth of mould and mildew. A properly sized exhaust fan can help to remove moisture from the bathroom and prevent these problems. In summary, the NEC requires a dedicated 20 amp circuit for bathroom receptacles to ensure sufficient power and safety. Ground fault circuit interrupter protection is also required for all bathroom receptacles to protect against electrical shock. The Canadian Electrical Code does not mandate a dedicated circuit but emphasizes ground fault circuit interrupter protection. Looping ground fault circuit interrupters is generally not permitted. When planning a bathroom renovation or new construction project, it is essential to carefully consider the electrical needs of the space and to consult with a qualified electrician. The NEC provides detailed requirements for bathroom circuits in Article 210 specifically section 210.11. C3 mandates at least one 20 amps branch circuit to supply bathroom receptacle outlets. This circuit must be dedicated, serving only bathroom outlets, as clarified by exception 210.11. C3, which allows it to supply a single bathroom. The rule's history lies in the increased use of high wattage bathroom appliances. As hair dryers and curling irons became common, the NEC recognized the potential for overloaded circuits, leading to the dedicated circuit requirement. The NEC also addresses wiring and overcurrent protection. Typically, 12 American wire gauge copper wire is used for 20 amp circuits protected by a 20 amp circuit breaker or fuse. Brand fall circuit interrupter protection is crucial. Section 210.8 requires it for all bathroom receptacles to prevent electrical shock by detecting and interrupting ground faults. Installing a dedicated 20 amp circuit and ground fault circuit interrupter protection significantly reduces electrical hazards, ensuring occupant safety. Staying updated with the NEC is vital, as it is revised every three years. 
Consult a qualified electrician for any electrical work to ensure NEC compliance and safety. Local jurisdictions may have additional regulations, so check with your local building department. The Canadian Electrical Code, while not requiring a dedicated 20 amp circuit, prioritizes Grand Falls circuit interrupter protection, reflecting a similar concern for safety in wet areas. The CEC approach recognizes Grand Fault Circuit Interrupter Protection as a fundamental safeguard. Looping Grand Fault Circuit Interrupters is generally prohibited by both the NEC and CEC. If one receptacle experiences a Grand Fault, all receptacles on the circuit lose power, which is inconvenient and potentially hazardous. It also complicates troubleshooting. Therefore, install a separate Grand Fault Circuit Interrupter for each bathroom receptacle. When planning bathroom renovations or new construction, carefully consider electrical needs, including wiring size to prevent overloads and fires. Use appropriate electrical boxes and fittings to protect wiring and devices. Adequate lighting is essential for grooming and safety. Combine general task and accent lighting for optimal illumination. Finally, proper ventilation is crucial to remove moisture and prevent mold growth. Use a properly sized exhaust fan.